Good day, folks. I know some people are uh, wondering about efficient heating solutions for this winter and have been asking me if I have any solutions. Though heating is not directly what I'm involved in, it does have an application. And there are some things that I know that I've been keeping b back, not because I'm trying to withhold any information, just because I figured maybe it was irrelevant or that I covered it to some extent in previous videos but again now I'm getting more and more subscribers so in case that people didn't get this the first time I'm going to recreate a new video and explain the concepts in simpler terms so basically what I'm getting at is I came up with the one wire hydro frequency electrolyzer so basically what this does is we found out recently that certain frequencies like 13.56 um, megahertz does something interesting to water just by exposing the frequency closer to water it it um, extracts the hydrogen from the water without using direct electrolysis like you would normally do or without using any other chemicals like kneading you know magnesium powder or anything all you need is that RF source and it doesn't need to be very powerful but there needs to be that RF source and all it needs is salt water so as long as you've got salt water which if you're by the sea by the way you've got an unlimited source so there's your your input so again we don't create energy out of nothing we're extracting it from the salt water but using radio frequency now this is not the same traditional effect with resonance because you all know that 13 megahertz has nothing to do with water if anything it could be the opposite of resonance something like a dielectric heating of sorts or that is able to excite the molecules in the water so that it separates and you get the hydrogen so it's an effect that in traditional science we don't think should happen because there's no relation but by fluke this frequency and specifically this frequency will do it now the thing which is funny is I tried to run some of this theory with chat GPT and believe it or not I'm surprised after I told it in specific details what I want to do it agreed with me and said you know this is a very good idea but it started nagging me about it in a way where I don't even think about using this system to produce more energy output than you put in an RF because in the traditional electrodynamics no 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 you can't do that your output in hydrogen is always going to be less than what you put in with your input it doesn't understand the one wire concept obviously and it completely disregards displacement current so I didn't even bother to correct it because it will just flag my account if I do but understanding what I know with the one wire system and how we could use big coils Bedini style and pulse a very low input duty cycle so we basically gate all the current and we just keep the voltage we're not dealing with traditional RF here where we want a radio station and we need that clear frequency and we need to do a traditional 50-50 duty cycle sine wave here so for this application we're just trying to split the uh, molecules in the in the water you don't the one percent trigger is more than enough what matters is a high electromagnetic field for that moment at that frequency to split the water again why do we use current for this we don't need to use current if you know what you're doing so a little modification of the Bedini setup you pulse a big coil the bigger the better the more mass you get a massive back EMF kickback we rectify that kickback with the one wire diode system it feeds a coil which energizes your water storage the salt water now basically whatever you get in hydrogen production is yours to do whatever you want to do now the big the best way to maximize this transfer is lighting up the hydrogen directly it's the most direct conversion and you get the heat if you're looking for heat but also you could use it for fuel cell to energize a fuel cell and and potentially run electric heat as well whatever you want to do with it that's up to you but I have, my point is this method here will allow you to extract the uh, hydrogen very very efficiently for a near zero input current trigger which is what we're all looking for and this may actually be the solution for heating that some people are looking for if you're lucky enough to live by the sea where you have ample unlimited amounts of salt water 
to interact with the system. So I hope you understand and um, Again, I'd like to explain more on why specifically that frequency, even in the science, if you look it up, there's no real explanation to why this frequency works the way it does. But as we know, even with Tesla, when he experimented with his RF interaction, he lived by the sea, and he got really freaked out when the, some of the colors started to change and whatnot, different interactions with different frequencies do different things. So there's a lot of anomalies out there and a lot of interactions we have yet to plot and this is one of them here which water reacts to certain frequencies and can give us hydrogen. Now again what chat GPT didn't account for is my clever utilization of the one wire system and displacement current and the heavy side component of the one wire system. It totally disregarded that. So it's telling me in traditional electrodynamic sense, well if you're going to use 50 watts of RF in there you're not going to get 50 watts back in hydrogen. Well in that traditional sense of course not but we're not it doesn't know all of the mechanisms how we're triggering it and if you can trigger it at zero current then we're in the plus so I hope this sheds a light and gives people ideas and as always I'm always looking forward to your comments thank you for watching folks